In business, we often sell our products or services to customers on credit, meaning that they have a certain amount of time before they have to pay the invoice. Unfortunately, however, there is always a chance that the customer will not make that payment and we will be left with having incurred the cost to provide the goods or service, but do not receive the revenue from the sale. Or consider the situation where you enter into a contractual arrangement with another company. Say to install roofing for a new factory. What if the counterparty, the roofing company, does not uphold its end of the contract? What risk could you be exposed to here? This is known as credit or counterparty risk. When it comes to financial institutions or treasury and similar operations within organisations, there is always a chance of human error or fraud taking place, which can have an effect on the financial outcomes and objectives of the organisation. Consider, for example, an administrative clerk in the treasury function who processes the bank transfers for deal requests and accidentally adds an extra zero to the dollar amount of a transaction. Or consider the situation where the clerk was acting fraudulently and transferred funds into their own bank account for fake deals that had not been authorised. These are examples of operational risk. When dealing with financial risks, it can be helpful to visualise the type of business the transaction or cause of the risk and the objective or outcome that the business is trying to achieve. It is only when you have this working understanding that it is possible to implement appropriate risk management strategies.